you'll notice the sign, no trucks on the bridge. And you can see the automobiles passing the slower streetcar. Here's a view looking east from one of the Kaufman Union footbridges at the intersection of Washington and Church Street. This is east of Oak and Washington, where the interurban crossed the Oak Harriet Line, the center for automobile dealerships. Milwaukee Road Depot. From there they continued down Washington all the way to Seven Corners. That's the Rock Island rocket in the depot. Washington Avenue was shared with other streetcar lines. Here we're looking east on 5th Street. The Lumber Exchange building is at the left. This is the site today of the Green Line and Blue Line LRT station for Hennepin Warehouse District. A streetcar approaches Nicollet Avenue. And continues another block to Marquette Avenue, passing Powers Department Store on the left.
another sequence coming around the turn loop. This was close to the end of service in 1954, and the streetcars were looking pretty tired by this time. Prior to about 1950, Twin City Lines never would have let their streetcars look this bad. The management that got rid of the streetcars, they cut the maintenance. And well-dressed students bored to go back to the St. Paul campus. We'll follow a trip back and crossing Horton Avenue the streetcars. Every year during the fair, streetcars on the Como Harriet line from both Minneapolis and St. Paul and also the Snelling Avenue line uh, diverted into a very large streetcar terminal that was located on the north side of Como Avenue, projecting into the fairgrounds. It reached into the fairgrounds as far as the base of the grandstand ramp. There were two very large loops with storage yards in the center. Uh, to the west was a loop for Minneapolis cars and to the right was a loop for St. Paul cars. Passengers entered the fairgrounds under the iconic arched State Fair sign. In later years, the sign was moved to the rear of the fairgrounds and was later rediscovered. And when the new bus terminal was built in the northwest corner of the fairgrounds, the sign was restored and placed there. You see one of the supervisors walking over to the office car. This was a streetcar that was especially equipped with desks and with telephones so that the supervisors who ran the fair could communicate with the central office. And it sat there all the way through the fair and then was taken back to Snelling Station when the fair was over. Back to either Minneapolis or St. Paul. In 1952, the St. Paul portion of the Como Harriet line east of the fairgrounds was abandoned, as was the Snelling Avenue line, and buses were substituted to go to the fair from St. Paul. 1953 was the very.